Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about directional coupler or we can also say it as a four port directional coupler. Okay, in the examinations you can you may be asked to explain about a directional coupler and its operation. Okay, that is nothing but four port directional coupler. So a directional coupler is a device that samples a small amount of microwave power from one waveguide to another waveguide. So a directional coupler directional coupler is a device or a microwave device that samples a small amount of microwave power from one waveguide to another waveguide another waveguide so how many waveguides that it has it has it has two waveguides one is primary waveguide another one is secondary waveguide okay from this statement we can understand that uh, the power can be coupled from one waveguide to another waveguide means it is actually having two waveguides known as primary waveguide and secondary waveguide so it consists of it consists of two waveguides namely primary waveguide and secondary waveguide okay that means the power can be coupled from primary waveguide to secondary waveguide by using a small hole okay in the previous video i have explained the types of directional couplers beta the hole directional coupler two hole directional coupler in in general it is having a multi hole directional coupler so it is a type of a single hole directional coupler the four port directional coupler here we are going to see is a uh, is a type of two hole directional coupler or a single hole directional coupler that depends upon the construction we are having see this is the construction we are having which is having a single hole to couple the power from primary waveguide to secondary waveguide here the primary waveguide is indicated as a main waveguide main waveguide which is a primary waveguide and the secondary waveguide is also known as an auxiliary waveguide an auxiliary waveguide now see it is having four ports this waveguide is having four ports so first port is known as incident port first port is known as incident port nothing but where we are giving the incident power where we are given the incident power and second port where the power is taking out that's why it is known as received power okay received port so received power is nothing but from the second port and third port is nothing but which is used as a back power port a back power port so why it is back power port when the input is transferring from one way first port to second port if any leakage occurs from the main waveguide to auxiliary waveguide so the power will be coming back from this back power okay back port that's why it is pb pi is nothing but incident power and pr is nothing but received power and the fourth one is fourth port is the power coming from the fourth port is known as forward power is known as forward power okay so the first port is known as incident power second port power is received power third port power is back power and fourth port power is forward power now let us see some properties of these directional couplers so that properties are nothing but what happens when input is applied at the first port second port third port and fourth port let us see let us assume that all the terminations are exactly matched to all the ports okay properties of directional coupler dc 
properties of directional coupler. Let us assume that all the ports are perfectly matched. All the ports are perfectly matched. Assume that all the ports are perfectly matched. When the power travels from port 1 to port 2, when power travels from port 1 to port 2, some portion of the power coupled to the port 4 but not to the port 3. See here what happens when power travels from port 1 to port 2 in the forward direction. Some power which enters into this auxiliary waveguide may couple towards the forward port, nothing but port 4, but not to the port 3. There is no power towards the port 3. Nothing but because the electromagnetic signal goes in the forward direction, it will not come back. That's why it is back power. The back power is generally zero when the power is traveling from one first wave, first port to second port. Coupling power. may come out of port 4 but not from port 3 okay that means no power will come out of port 3 when power travels from first port to second port so as it is also a bidirectional coupler when the power travels from port 2 to port 1 some portion of power gets coupled to port 3 but not to port 4. Suppose if the same case is studying in the reverse order that means when input is applied at this second port the power will be going from second port to first port. Suppose if any leakage power occurs from this uh, main waveguide to auxiliary waveguide that power goes towards the port 3 but not port 4. That means it is in the reverse direction. So bidirectional prop bi property directional coupler directional coupler has bidirectional property we can say it is having bidirectional property so bidirectional property nothing but it is acting in the reverse direction whatever we have studied in the second point that will be happened from the reverse direction also okay next if the power is incident through port 3, a portion of the power is coupled to port 2, 2 but not to port 1. See here, suppose if the power is coupling from port 3, suppose port 3 is acting as input power. So, a portion of the power will be coupled towards port 2. That means the power coming out from this one may reach port 2 but not from port 1. If power is given at port 3 it will come out of port 2 port 2 but not from port 1 that means back power power will not travel in the back direction Okay, suppose if the power is incident from port 4 because of this bidirectional property, suppose if the power is incident from port 4, again it will come out from port 1 but not from port 2, same. Suppose power at port 4, it may come out of port 1 but not from port 2. So, port 1 and 3 are decoupled as are port 2 and port 4. Okay. So, port 1 and 3, these two, this port and this port are decoupled and again port 2 and port 4 are decoupled. That means when input is given at first port, no power will be from third port. Similarly, when input is given at second port, no power will be from the fourth port and vice versa. Okay, that means these two ports are decoupled ports.
port 1 and port 3 are decoupled ports similarly port 2 and port 4 also okay they are also decoupled ports okay so what are the powers we are going to calculate here so powers we are going to calculate which is first one is incident power incident power why i am saying all these incident powers and uh, powers at each and every port is we are going to calculate three different parameters uh, from this uh, directional coupler like uh, coupling factor directivity and isolation isolation uh, so from these three isolation directivity and coupling factor for these three we definitely need these powers okay that's why you should know what are the powers and where it is coming from so pr is nothing but received power received power pf is nothing but forward power or coupled power and pb is nothing but back power back power so incident power it is at port 1 received power port 2 forward power port 3 back power port uh, forward forward power port 4 back power port 3 okay so using these powers we can calculate three different parameters from the directional coupler operation so first one is coupling factor coupling factor three factors we are going to calculate first one is coupling factor indicated by c so coupling factor of a directional coupler is the ratio of incident power to the forward power which is measured in decibels all these factors we are going to measure in terms of decibels that's why log 10 log 10 of incident power to the forward power incident power to the forward power is measured in terms of decibels and the second one is directivity directivity so what is the definition of this uh, coupling factor coupling factor is defined as the ratio of uh, what is from where to where the ratio of input power to the forward power input power to the forward power okay that means for port 1 to port 4 we are calculating now directivity is nothing but the directivity is defined as the ratio of forward power to the backward power so it is defined as the ratio of forward power to the backward power it is also measured in terms of decibels from port 4 towards port 3 okay now isolation is the another important factor which can also be calculated from this directional coupler it is also defined as it, it defines the directive properties of the directional coupler it defines the directive properties of the directional coupler it is the ratio of incident power to the back power it is the ratio of incident power to the back power that means port 1 to the port 3 incident power to the backward power so isolation in decibels is equal to we can say isolation is equal to coupling factor plus directivity coupling factor plus directivity that is in decibels this is what the operation of directional coupler and what are the powers we have inside the directional coupler and what are the different factors that we can measure with the help of directional coupler like coupling factor directivity and isolation thank you